Maori, and very warm greetings from the hearts of the Blue Pacific Ocean, an island nation that is traveled across the equator and surrounded by a vast ocean with a total population of over 110,000. The Republic of Kiribati is an independent, predominantly Christian nation located between Hawaii and Australia and composed of the Cupid's Islands, Phoenix Islands and the Lion Islands. <laughs> This short video clip will introduce and demonstrate Kiribati's commitments and efforts in the fight against corruption. On the 9th of March 2016, when this new government, led by His Excellency President Danis Mamo from his ruling party, Dupan Kiribati, came into office with a strong political manifesto, many changes began to emerge that clearly indicated the government's intention and strong will to create Kiribati as a free, corrupt country in the Pacific. In September 2016, a first ever national anti-corruption strategy was launched by the government of Kiribati. The strategy reaffirmed the government's commitment in the fight against corruption at all sectors in the government and the civil society and that greatly impacted and changed the mindset of the people of Kiribati and encouraged them to assist in the fight against corruption. On that same year, the establishment of the Public Service Integrity and Corruption Control Unit under the Public Service Office was another milestone that showed the full commitment of the government of Kiribati to eradicate corruption. The mandate of this unit is to centrally combat and prevent corruption and economic crime at the public service level through the creation of preventative measures and standards, educational awareness programs and enforcement of law. The integration of anti-corruption in the primary and secondary school levels curriculum. By education, the character of anti-corruption will be created, such as cultivating honesty, hardworking, bravery, responsibility, independence, simplicity, justice, and tolerance values. Last but not the least, the endorsement of the Public Service Anti-Corruption Code of Conduct by the government this year. This code aims to uphold the standard of integrity and conduct of public servants, ensuring that the service delivered is fair, trustworthy, and satisfactory in the public service. On that same year, 2016, the government also established a first ever anti corruption committee in the House of Parliament. The one I'm going to on a select committee, the anti corruption. The anti corruption is a very important thing. Pukin <laughs> In 2017, the government launched its 20-year long-term development vision known as Kiribati Vision 20 or KV20 to enable Kiribati to fast-track developments and become a wealthy, healthy and peaceful nation by the year 2036. The four pillars of the KV20 include wealth, peace and security, infrastructure and governance. Under the governance pillar, 
government aims to create Kiribati a corrupt-free society by strengthening national and local traditional and governance policy and legislative framework, fostering and strengthening the integrity and independence of institutions mandated to promote good governance and eliminate corruption, strengthening strategic partnerships and institutionalize anti-corruption and good governance principles in the public service and education systems in Kiribati. The government of Kiribati also celebrated the International Anti-Corruption Day every year that actually falls on the 9th of December. This was also celebrated this year and combined with the World Human Rights Day as well as the official closing of the 16 Days of Activism and the International Disability Day. And I have to to get in to fight corruption. To get in fight corruption, to get in aware the non-youth and the young age corruption is it good or is it bad youth the corruption corrupt free adults the corruption youth the public ba ana ana gade rigin dei dei ni yon corruption ba ngai an te ba ya to go apera men te rigira challenge the the nan leaders around the world ba ana gade fight corruption ba corruption is a very bad thing po konan digira ge abem kana ye the corruption irom na ri i challenge ni ungi kain the nan leaders ba ana gade stop corruption fight corruption again gai ara bere stance yon giribes ya gade fight corruption to conclude, I want to make a strong call and challenge on all our global leaders to join hands together in our struggle, our fight and our battle against corruption for our better future. Without your actions now, we will all face a very challenging future. Let us all consolidate our efforts together as one to act right and act now to stop corruption. Yeah.